Hi guys, Katie here at Choose TV, and I'm here with Julian Hakes of the namesake, Julian Hakes Footwear. Julian, thank you so much for having us and, and meeting with us today. This is your first show, correct? It is indeed, yeah. We've just um, launched the new brand, Julian Hakes London. You have this unique design. Tell us how you came up with this concept. Well, I'm, I wasn't trained as a shoe designer. Okay. I'm actually a, an architect and a bridge design specialist as a oh, background. Oh, bridges, okay. So I've been designing bridges all over the world. In, uh, in Boston, I've got a project I did the concept design on, worked in Los Angeles, uh, Big Bridge in Moscow, for example. Wow. And I've, I've just been doing that for, it's my own company based in London. And I was just really just sitting in the studio one night thinking about how would I design a bridge for the foot? How, if, if that was the question, how, how could a new sandal be developed with new materials and new technology? So I, I thought, where does the load go in the foot? Where does the force go? And thought, well, well, let's see, I kind of stopped thinking at that point and I was the last one in the studio and I just got some tracing paper and wrapped my own foot in tracing paper and scotch tape and then drew around it and knew that I had to protect the, the ball of my foot and the heel and really thought, well, actually, the middle bit doesn't need anything there. Because if you look at a, a footprint or something like that... In the that, sand, example, exactly. Yeah. yeah, footprint in the sand, you have the ball and the heel. A little bit rolls down the bridge, but as soon as you lift the heel off the ground, then there's very little load going to that middle part of the foot. So really, I just thought, well, I can join the dots. And that's where it started. So as it started off as a men's flat, which we're still developing, but when we put the heel on it, it just gave it a different dynamic.